through their AI technology that they're rolling out. These dudes are plan they're planning to create technology that allows them to live forever. Okay? They want to become immortals. Okay? That's their goal. They want to be immortals. You know? And they're, they're creating technology, their AI systems, that they believe is going to help them achieve that. And, and, and it's not even about money. It's not even about that anymore. It's about total control of the earth, man. They don't want to lose their power. You know, they have a firm grip on the earth right now, and they don't want to lose that. So it's a, it's, it's a war, man. Psalms 36 and 4, he devises mischief upon his bed. He set himself in a way that is not good, he abhorreth not evil. Yeah, these rich devils, man, they, you think they, they're, they, these devils ain't resting either, man. They're not taking no breaks, okay? The the agenda is going forward, it's been, coming, it's been going forward for centuries now, okay? Ever since they came back into power, that agenda has been be, has been pushed forward, okay. and it's little by little, little by little. Okay, one of them devils dies, and the sun takes the spot. Yep. And, they, and, and so on and so on. They they know reincarnation yep. is real, yep. so they pass their wealth onto their children. And the, through the process of reincarnation, they know that they're going to come back. They bury within their families. Uh huh. They know they're going to come back to their wealth. The next exactly, and their agenda keeps rolling. And now here we are in 2023, about to go in 2024. Hey, and they're, it's, it's getting closer and closer, yeah. man. It's, not an old, it's no longer a secret. Uh, Jeremiah 12 and 1 is a, a prayer of Jeremiah. It says, Righteous art thou, O Lord, when I plead with thee, yet let me talk with thee of thy judgments. Wherefore doeth the way of the wicked prosper? Wherefore are all they happy that dwell very treacherously? Thou hast planted them, yea, they have taken root, they grow, yea, they bring forth fruit. Thou art near in their mouth and far from their reins. But thou, O Yahweh, knowest, knowest me, thou hast seen me and tried mine heart toward thee. Pull them out like sheep for the slaughter, and prepare them for the day of slaughter. That's what we're praying for, right? That's what we want. We're in that spot, we're in this position right now where they are flourishing, they are doing great, right? They, they prosper. They, their plans are just, like these people are just proud, sitting up there talking shit against the heavens, against us, against the Most High, you know? And so we're, we understand that it was the Lord who planted them. That it was the Most High who put them in. Because a lot of people, the people on the earth, these, who elected these people? They're, they're unelected. They, who, who voted them in? Well, it was the Lord. It was the Most High Power, Yahweh, who put them in that position of power. Okay? We understand that. So we're, now we, we're, we're also praying that the Most High take them out, man. Gun. You know, you put them there, Lord, Baba Kashal. Get rid of them. Okay? Destroy them. Okay? They're, look at what they're doing. We're doing our part our, to the best of our abilities to seek the mercy, man. The, the mercy that David uh, was seeking, we're doing the same thing. Okay? Uh, Psalms 37, verse 7. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him yep. who prosper in his way. It's, it's the spirit because we don't have to really, really, when you come into this truth and really understand him, we don't have to be worried about what he's doing. We just have to understand what he's doing and see it and, and hide it ourselves in, in, the, in, the, in the tower of the strong tower. Get a warning. The outside, you know, and give, and give the warning to those that don't see it. Okay, that, that's the job. Mm -hmm. Everything else, we don't have to worry about it because it ain't going to be us that take him down. Oh, so the same one that put him in position is the same one that's going to take him out. It. Yep. It says, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass, mm -hmm. cease from anger and forsake wrath, fret not thyself in any wise to do evil, yep. 
for evildoers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. Uh, mm -hmm. we're, we're to suffer patiently, man. Wait patiently on the Lord, right? We, we have to go, we, we gotta do what we gotta do, patiently and long suffering, man, okay? We, we can't take actions into our own hands, matter into our own hands, all right? We can't get desperate and, and feel like, fuck, man, you, know, you, do something. you lose hope. <laughs> and now you, you feel like you got to do something carnally to yeah. get you out of a jam. You know? The spirit of Yahweh Shem Shai, your prudence and your, and your patience mm -hmm. and faith, really, that has to take over when you, when you these times come amongst us. There ain't no brother that's in this truth go through a day where you want to put your hands around the Edomite's neck or, you know, whoop one of these two-third niggas out here, but we, we, we spiritual men, not carnal men. And, and as, and as the, the devil comes down on us more and more with that wrath, right, our cry and our supplication is going to increase. Okay, we're going to lean on the Lord even more. Okay? More and more. It's just our faith is going to it's going to increase, man. In the spiritual how we're just talking about uh, how it's, it's a, a man-made famine yeah. coming around. But we're the most obese country, so there's enough of the right thing to eat, and where our faith increases in that, and that's what he's showing us. We'll stop eating the bullshit. Stop drinking the soda. Stop drinking. Stop eating so much. Stop eating so much. You don't need that much. It's, it's putting you in bad health. Yeah, we, so we're getting the wisdom of how to live under these conditions, and it's not bothering us. It makes us feel better, but everybody else is bugging the hell out. We know a fight is coming, right? So you got to prepare. We know famine is coming, so what do we do? We prepare our bodies. We prepare our, our mind, more importantly, though. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Isaiah 65, the Lord says his servants going to eat. Mm -hmm. They're going to have abundance. That too, yeah. <laughs> so you got to take it, take it, hey, you got to think it like that too, man. Yeah, I got to that. This is Proverbs 20 and 22 in the GMT. Do not take it on yourself to repay it wrong. Trust the Lord and he will make it right. Yep. We, we are to be presented as uh, uh, clean, okay? Without, uh, blemish. without blemish. blemish, okay? Perfect, okay? Our, our, the accuser, he's going to present his case against us before the whole world and the world is going to believe him, okay? But the most high, the judge of, of the earth, right? The judge, the, the ultimate judge, he's going to have full report. He's going to yeah. uh, acquit us, man. He's going to give us that white stone. Okay? So we're, we're not to take our matters into our own hands. Let this devil do what he has to do. Okay? We're, our, our job is to stay prayed up, keep praying. Uh, send our cry because the, the Lord is going to hear our cry. Our cry pierce, pierces the clouds, man. Okay? Our uh, prayers. Okay? I uh, Romans 8, verse 30. It says, Moreover, whom he did predestinate, him he also called. And whom he called, him he also justified. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. Wow. So before, before that glory comes, we got to humble ourselves too, okay? Before our honor comes humility, okay? So right now we're in, this, in the process of humility, okay? We're not to glorify ourselves right now. We, we're not to get uh, uh, boastful because we know something, okay? Because we, exactly, with wisdom, you know? Puffed up with wisdom, no. we. We understand that we're in a position where our enemies are, are more than us, right? Carnally, okay? Where, where they have power over us. Okay, Esau has power over us right now in the, in the carnal sense, okay? So we're not going to go into his, fight his fight. Okay, because that's what he's going to, he's going to, he wants that. He wants us to get carnal. You know? He, wa he wants us to get carnal so that he can destroy us. Okay? But well, that's not how we're supposed to fight. Right. And the Lord called us, Lord willing, we are predestinated. Right? All of us, we're predestinated. The Lord is going to justify us. He's going to show everybody that, hey, these are my men. Right. 
You know, all that shit you got talking about them. Mm -mm. You know, they, they, they were actually the ones doing the, the right thing. Okay, yes. we just got to stick to the program. Verses uh, Romans 13 and 1. Let every soul be subject unto the higher power. For there is no power but of the Most High. The powers that be are ordained of the Most High. The Most High, as you said, he said, uh, be in power yeah. to be ordained for this time period. He's going to set up the next rule to be ordained. He said, by the decree of the watchers of Daniel, right? Uh, we know that the, uh, the kingdom of heaven, what did it say? That the, um, by the decree of the watchers, that most the high ruler to the king. The living may know. The most high ruler to the king. So he sets up who is going to be and take down one and set up set up another. Yep. When, when, when the enemy comes for us, you know we know the standard is going to be raised. Certain brothers are going to escape, but certain brothers are going to get taken to prison. Right? The devil shall cast some of you into prison. Uh, you, Somebody finish the rest of that one? No, you, shall you shall have tribulation. You shall have tribulation. Ten days. Yeah. Be thou faithful unto be death and death. The Lord shall give you the crown of life. Yeah. Yeah. And also what the Lord told his disciples when they was getting ready to, you know, go through what they were going to go through. He said, I'll send you as sheep amongst uh, wolves. In the midst of wolves. In the midst of wolves, therefore be as wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Mm -hmm. you know, and he said that, you know, um, Take no thought for what you shall speak. For it shall be given you. It shall be given you in that hour with, with, with what you shall speak, because you're gonna be you're gonna be brought before governors and kings, kings yeah. and courts. You know, you know, you have to testify. Yeah. So some brothers are gonna, you know, that's gonna be their their lot. Yeah. You know? You have to in pocket the step. Yeah, yeah. Be put forward to testify. Or, or, or be tested, you know? You're gonna be tested to say, to see whether you're faithful in the face of death, or you're a coward, man. And you go back, like nah, you retract on your words. You deny the Lord. You deny, you deny the Lord. You know, you're gonna, we're all, everybody's gonna be tested, especially the believers, yeah. you know? Our faith is gonna be tested, man. Whether we, we really are what we say we are, Oh, we were just faking it the whole time. If you look around, like the Jake that was here earlier, or whatever, whatever, um, they always just want us to to break our faith, break our belief. They just want to know that not that they got something for us. They just don't want us to have it. You know, they just, if you notice a lot of people that come up and scoff, the ones that the few that still do, they just want to break our faith. They just don't want us to believe as strongly as we believe standing out here on the corners or whatever, teaching to the wind. Yeah. I just wanted to make y'all mad. Yeah. He said that he said, oh, I just wanted to make information. Yeah, he came up here to talk to people. He used to. He was one of the six hecklers. A heckler, that's all he was. That's all they really wanted. Brother was speaking on it. First Peter five and six. Humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of the Most High, that He may exalt you in due time. Yeah. Humble, uh, hum, uh, being humble, you right? Okay, that's that's key to our to success. Being humble. Okay, like I said before, we understand right now we're we're in the belly of the beast. Okay, we're hey, in the land of the shadow of death, man. Okay, we're surrounded, surrounded by by uh, snares, okay, and traps. Did it say enemies can pass me on all sides? Yeah. David says yeah, Psalms 18, you know, or 81. It's 18, 81. And uh, temptation, 18. you know, temptation that can cause us to go off, man. Mm -hmm. That can cause us to fall out. All the, all the things that Yahweh Shai had to go through. Us being his servants and he being our master, hey, the scripture say the servant is not better than his master. So we got to drink of that same cup and go through that period of humiliation. Oh. Mm -hmm. Can you verse 8? Uh, no. Yeah, verse 8. Uh, uh, first Peter? 5 and 8. Uh, yep. Verse 8, it says, be sober, be vigilant, yep. because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion, walking about, seeking whom he may devour. Right, and that's double fold, man. Sober. Yeah. Uh, 
Speaking of uh, 